In the last video, we created a flowchart for a sample problem that uh, needs the user to input two scores uh, for last night's football game, and then calculate and um, make some decisions based on the difference between the two scores and, and figure out who won. Um, so if I were to translate this into uh, actual Java code, looking at the first shape on the left, I've tiled my Java window together with my flowchart, but looking, um, we start at the start symbol, and then if I um, am going to write code for the input winning and losing score, I would need to create a scanner object, scanner in equals new scanner system.in. Now you could call this something other than, um, oopsies, other than in, but uh, in is pretty handy. Um, notice that I get the red squigglies, that's because I have to include the import. I position myself over here on the left where the um, light bulb and the red dot is. Click once and add import for java.util.scanner. That will include the definition of scanner and the red squigglies will go away. Next I need to prompt the user system.out.println and I want to tell them to enter a score from last night's game. Um, a typo. Doggone it. I need to scooch this over a little bit so I can see. There's my semicolon missing. Okay, so now I, what is the score? What's the data type of the score? Um, it's a whole number, so that means it's an integer, and I'm going to call it score one equals in dot next int. I'm going to do that same thing for the next score. Um, so I'm, instead of, I'm going to say next score, and then I'm going to call that score two. So I've got score one and score two. Then I need to calculate the next thing in my flowchart says to calculate the difference. So I'm going to create a variable called int diff, just because it's handy. And then I want the absolute value of the difference, because I don't know who won. So I'm going to say score 1 minus score 2, and I'm going to send that to the abs, math.abs. Math.abs will calculate the absolute value and return the result. And then I have an if statement. If the difference is less than 5. If that's the case, I want to do a system system.out.println. And I want to display close game. Again, I have to scooch this out of the way. If um, uh, it's not close game, what do I do? Close game is the only thing that I do on the true path of this if statement. What if it's not true? That means I go down to the else, so I would type else. And then, oh, I've got another if statement here. So I'm going to put the open brace and ask my other if statement. My other if statement is if the difference is greater than 20, that means it was a blowout. Oops. I just pasted this code so I wouldn't have to type system did out dot print one again. And I'm gonna say sounds like blow out. Um, there's actually nothing I want to do if it's false, so this if statement is not going to have an else. There's nothing else I want to do if it's true. So I'm ready for these guys to come back together again and I'm following this whole this whole if structure here, I'm following with another separate if structure. So notice over here on the right hand side, I'm still within my braces for that else. I don't want to be. So I'm going to uh, move down here to following this entire if structure here. And then I'm going to ask if score one is great. Whoopsies. It's great. Ah, okay. It's greater than score two. Now you might have noticed I made a typo. What did I do? I um, put a space after score. I'll get rid of that. Life should be good. And then I am going to enter system.out.println. And I am going to say the winner is. Scoot this over so you can see all my code. The winner is, uh, the winning score is, that would be better. 
and then I'm going to concatenate that together with score 1. And then I'm going to say the losing score is, and concatenate that together with score 2. Uh, now back to my flow chart. I just did the true path. Now I'm ready to go take care of the false path. So the false path is indicated by the word else. And then I'm going to paste this system down to print line because I just need to make a slight change. I need to say the winning score is score 2 and the losing score is score 1. So this code uh, matches my flowchart over here. Let's give it a test. I'm just going to run it real quick. And I'm going to enter a score from last night's game, if I remember correctly. Um, 49 was a score, and 7 was a score. So sounds like a blowout. Ooh, I've got one little error. Sounds like a blowout. The winning score is 49. Losing score is 7. It would look ever so much better if there was a space there. In fact, maybe even a new line. So I'm going to use the escape sequence backslash n inside the double quotes to give myself a new line. Let's run it one more time. I'm going to enter a different score now. How about 7? and uh, 21. And there's no message for that differential because there's only 14 points between those two scores and it tells me the winning score is 21 and the losing score is 7, which is exactly what I would expect. So when you're writing a program like this, make sure that you test it thoroughly with different values to display all of the messages contained therein. And I hope you have found this video helpful in interpreting your flowchart into actual Java code.